So the blender market sales are upon us again. Let's smash through and showcase some of the main add-ons that I use. So starting off with scatter five add-on, let's jump over here onto the side, select our cube, select what type of coverage we want. So I'm just gonna pick this one. Let's go into the scatter biome. We've got a library. Let's check our biomes. And this is just the grass pack. However, if I select scatter pro, we actually have a pretty big list of a whole bunch of different libraries that we can actually use. So for instance, wasteland, let's throw that one on, come into rendered view and I've got a very basic sky texture. No, I don't. And you can see just how wonderful this grass looks without even doing anything. I am just gonna put a brown material on the box itself. And that is a gorgeous looking ground covering without even doing anything. However, I do love using the physical starlight add-on with this very quickly. Atmosphere, turn it on. And very quickly with doing squat all, we kind of get this really nice look. However, with physical starlight add-on comes a whole bunch of presets. And I already have this all set up in my asset library. So we can throw on kind of like retro wave. Ooh. This is kind of like the sky texture, Earth 3.0. And you can see very quickly that we're just smashing this stuff out. Mm, gorgeous. So let's move over into trees and some more foliage. And first we're gonna look at the forestation add-on. So here we've got a wonderful library of 3D scanned trees. So let's pick off uh, this olive tree, summer one. Let's go add tree and we are given a really nice vibrant looking tree and i think in total there's about 35 trees that we can use and these do look quite nice however the other library i love to use is the polygon botanica add-on let's go spawn asset and we can see that we have a much bigger library of trees here um, but it's not just these trees as well there are a whole bunch of different categories we can pick from so we can go to just flowers. We can move into rocks. Even shrubs. I do like the rose bush. Where are you, rose bush? And okay. And if we scroll down, we can just see the quality of the botanica plants as well. Now you can use the same resources as the scatter add on because there are grasses that you can use as well. So if we come over into here, you can see that there is a pretty good library of resources with the Botanica add-on. Moving over into something a little bit more mechanical, we can have a look at the Trafficker add-on by the same guys as Botanica. And if we pick a car, let's go Scooter. Uh, let's go random color. And you can see that we can spawn in a very nice looking rigged car. So let's just go into convert to editable. I'm just gonna go in solid mode. What we can do is come into pose mode and we have a whole bunch of options to control the car we can steer we can give it a bit of a drift as well and you can see that the wheels are still pointing forwards <laughs> and there are quite a few other options that we can do here where it actually sticks to the road the car will bounce if it's a uh, bumpy track but we won't look at that right now. That'll be in a future video. Now, another great add-on is Auto Rig Pro. I use Character Creator 3 to the cows come home. And I also work with a lot of mocap data. So if we go into Auto Rig Pro, we can quickly rig the character using the smart rigging solution. I'll put a link in the description for that one if you wanna see that more in depth, but I primarily use it for quick rig. So if I select my armature here, I can go import, we'll select character creator plus, and then go quick rig, preserve volumes, okay. And now this character is rigged with IK and FK constraints. You little ripper, saving so much freaking time. Let's now have a look at two mechanical add-ons. The first one is the plating and greebles generator. Let's go tab into edit mode, subdivide, subdivide. From here, I can go search, plating, add plates, press N, plating generator, we can go selection, uh, nope, I wanna go plating generated, pattern type, I do like the triangles, we can add in a subdivision, and maybe we might just go 10%, and you can see that we're creating some very nice plates very quickly, 
We can do a little bit of more pizzazzle with these so we can increase the randomness of how high the plates are. Obviously the different seeds, so on and so forth. We can even throw rivets on. Use rivets, please. And that is just, mm, that's just a nice, easy add-on to get stuff working. And next up, we can look at random flow, shift Q. We have a variety of things we can do, random panels. Let's go panel sizes, we can just increase to maybe six. And then you can see that it creates some really nice panels that we can put on any surface. Even if we go new mesh sphere, let's go shift Q on that one. And we'll go random panels. You can see very quickly what random flow does. And Blender Guppy has some great videos over on his channel where he's making some very fine artwork. Now in saying that, there are two Greeble packs that I like to use. So if I open up my asset library, I do have my own kit bashing sets, just an FYI. Um, and you'll see these a lot on my artworks that I create. So these will be linked in the description below. Some very quick mentions of some other add-ons is RBD Labs, all about cell fracture, making life simple and good. The node preview add-on I use quite a bit when I'm making new materials because you can see what is happening at every step. Highly recommended if you're getting into material editing or even if you know how to use it, but you just want to see what steps they are. True Space provides you a fantastic HDR library of space. So especially if you like doing sci-fi stuff like me, I use this in the backgrounds because it just... Mm, 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 mm. Now the guys from Light Architect have a massive library of buildings and you can buy the one pack that covers them all, which is highly recommended. And you can quickly build cities up using these. <clears throat> and there we have it, just some of the add-ons that I love using. Go check it out, pick up yourself a bargain and let me know what add-ons you're picking up.